after today, we will hopefully know who our next president is going to be because it's election day. Uh, uh, unfortunately, there are some non-concession plans that we're hearing about from candidates. We're hearing about businesses being boarded up. We're hearing about renewed toilet paper shortages and ammunition shortages, food hoarding, legal battles, all kinds of things like this. And uh, many people are afraid that the pandemic may grow worse across the globe, and they're afraid of protests from, from people who feel their voice is unheard. Uh, there, are, there is fear that uh, voices can no longer be heard be without threat of censorship. There's fear that there's going to be taxation without representation and that there's going to be too much power in the hands of too few. But with all this divisiveness, I believe that there's a lot that most of America agrees upon. Most of America wants to be free from fear and get past uh, this current pandemic and wants our country to remain a land of opportunity wants to have the freedoms granted by the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. Most of America wants to be safe and law-abiding, wants everyone to be able to express their concerns and opinions, even if it differs from our own. We want to work together to make this country a country that we can all be proud of. Uh, I have faith that we can work through this divisiveness to find common ground and continue to build the U.S. as a land of freedom and opportunity. I hope that everyone can learn to love one another despite their differences. And I believe that we still live in the greatest country on earth and want it to remain that way. Tomorrow, we're gonna to find out whether we're going to be continuing in the Trump administration or usher in a new Biden administration. And to that end, uh, we're hosting a webinar next week and also meeting with a lot of clients to go over end of year portfolio positioning for the next four years and end of year tax planning uh, so that we can be prepared for any new taxes that are coming up and uh, take care of things before it's too late and 2021 is upon us. So stay tuned for uh, the announcement of the webinar next week, and uh, we'll, we'll come at you then and let you know a good bit more. Thank you very much.